What a beautiful day it is outside. Let's see what there is to watch on TV. He fucked me with a toothbrush. Okay, maybe we'll turn that on later. Oh shit, I forgot I have a whole show to run. Here, just take the intro. Hello, and welcome to the second episode of Total Drama Million Dollar Combat. Last time, Team Purple Ice were up for elimination and the majority voted for Sandy, thus making her the first to go. Who will go next? I guess we'll find out. Damn, your parents are really that strict. Yup, they're Mexican anyways so there's obviously no surprise. Speak some Spanish, I dare you. Later, I honestly sound so stupid whenever I speak it. And where the fuck were you, Kaylee? I told you to fucking wash my clothes. How about you do it yourself, stupid bitch? I would never. Also, mind your goddamn business. This is my damn business because Kaylee is my friend. Whatever, you two are fucking losers. I'm fucking out of here. Your sister is a fucking bitch. She really is. You are gonna have to stand up to her. How? Everyone admires her. She's the pretty one, and I'm really the ugly one. You both look the same. Plus, beauty is only based on your personality and how you act. It doesn't have to do with how you look. You are the pretty one, and she's the ugly one. You really mean it? Of course I do. Thank you so much. This means a lot to me. No problem. Taylor is right. I should stand up to Killer. She's been treating me like shit for the past 16 years. But I really don't know how to. And then that's why I stopped listening to Taylor Swift, and then started to listen to Olivia Rodrigo. Her song Good For You, is kind of identical to Misery Business by Paramore. Interesting. Do you have any more song suggestions? You should listen to Animal I Have Become by Three Days Grace, and Nightmare by Avenged Sevenfold. I got you. Okay, so since it's my second day here, I think I should at least have one person to help me in the competition. But I'm gonna need someone that is dumb enough. I know damn well who it is. What's the difference between a strawberry and a cranberry? It's so fucking obvious. Anyway, how about we form an alliance? I'll help you get into the final three or if lucky enough, the final two. What do you think about that? I love it. But there are some rules. You'll have to vote for the person I vote, you are not allowed to take anything from me, and you'll always have to obey me. Got it? Got it. <laughs> what a fucking dumbass. Alright campers, guess what time it is. It's challenge time. Today's challenge will be based on talent. Each time we'll have two different people to perform. Then the person will be given points based on their performance from a scale from 1 to 10. 1 being the worst and 10 being the best obviously. And yes, a maximum of three people can participate in one performance. So, for example, a duo playing a song can be allowed. You guys will be given until sunset to choose your performers. You may all begin. Alright, so which one of you motherfuckers have her actual talent here? My talent is writing notes on how beautiful Karen is. How about you go fucking suck on your dad's dick? Mark, if you don't shut the fuck up, then I will fucking burn every picture you have of Karen. No, not my sweet Karen. Hey social media brat, drop your phone, or else I will leak that sex tape of you and your failure of a boyfriend. Okay. Alright, which one of you can do a great performance tonight? I can show off my real athletic skills. Are you sure you can? Because you seem like you failed on joining the basketball team at your school three times. No offense. I totally didn't. I actually did fail three times. But they are making a huge mistake. I am not clumsy at all. Oh shit. That hurt. Okay, we seriously need some people to audition for this shit. You guys all tell me what you can do. Hazel, what's your talent? I can sing this wonderful song. Go for it. My name is Hazel, my hair is shiny, my teeth are perfect, my skirt is tiny, it barely covers, my perky high knee. My name is Hazel, I may not be smart. That wasn't even singing, that was a fucking introduction. But I guess I'll let that one pass. Is there anyone else here? I can play Misery Business by Paramore on guitar. Really? Yep. Can I sing it? 
I can imitate Haley Williams' voice pretty well. Okay. Great. So I actually have something to do for tonight. What is it? I secretly packed my brother's diary, and I plan to read it out loud for the performance. You're one evil bitch. Do you have it on you right now? Chloe, get your ass over here now. Yes? Go get me ugly ass 14 year old that's extremely sensitive and cries like a little bitch's diary. I'm on it. What that shit make us lose so? That's honestly what I want. I want Don out of here. All he fucking does is read books. Look. You do have a valid point. Our team would be no different without him. Okay, I want you to rate on how well I can sing this song. Alright. I'm in the business of misery. Go, you sound exactly like Haley Williams. Oh really? I'll try the next line then. Oh, she's got a body like an hourglass. You still sound exactly like her. Really? Well let's just hope the judges don't think I'm lip syncing. Yeah, that could be one huge problem. So you probably think reading Terence's diary is too much? Well, I saw that Hazel did a whole 23 and me D in a test. I could possibly impersonate one of the people that gives you the results. Sure, the results come in the mail, but I'm pretty sure that she's dumb enough to believe this shit. Hello? Hi, this is Christina calling from 23 and me. We just want to let you know that you were actually adopted, and that your real mother was actually a prostitute and a hoe on top of that. She decided to give you up for adoption so that way, she can still continue to get some dick in her mouth and to possibly be a stripper. Just found out my parents aren't my real parents. Hashtag ruined. Hashtag so sad. Hashtag don't hit me up. Alright campers, it's now time to show off your talent. Me, and two of my friends, Jackson and Trinity, will be the judges for this talent show. Nice ears, cutie. You're gonna make me blush, please stop. Our first performer is Hazel, from the Purple Ice. You may begin, whenever you want. My name is Hazel, my hair is shiny, my teeth are perfect, my skirt is tiny, it barely covers, my perky high knee. My name is Hazel, and I may not be smart. <laughs> um, okay then. I give it a 3 since it kind of reminds me of Trisha Paytas' a song. I'll give it a 1. I'll give you a 2. Next up, we have Eli, from the Blue Fires. Oh yeah, with my powerful skills, I can beat everyone's ass in this talent show. I can't dodge anything in my sight. Well, can you dodge this? Ow. Mommy, Daddy, I think I got a boo-boo. That was pathetic, you get a 1. Zero. One. You guys are really lacking talent. But next up, we got Karen, from the Purple Ice. Thank you everyone, tonight I am gonna be a very nice older sister by reading my brother, Terence's diary, let's start. Dear diary, there is this one girl in my class named Amy. She just looks so beautiful but she is a part of the mean girls clique. She is just so hot, if you can custom order a girl like her at McDonald's, it would so be called the McHottie. And I am also starting to get some wet dreams, is that normal? Well, Amy, make sure not to fall for that loser Terrence, he is just one paranoid timid bastard that can't even tie his own shoes yet. That was so mean. You get a 2. 3. 1. Next up we got Taylor and Lucifer, both from the Blue Fires.
outstanding cover of misery business, but you guys get an 8 since I can tell that Taylor with lip scene scene. 8. Don't listen to those losers, you guys get an automatic 12, since I fucking love Paramore. So this wraps up our talent contest. Looks like Team Blue Fire got 29 points in total, while Team Purple Ice got 12. This obviously makes Team Blue Fire win today's challenge. Team Purple Ice, you guys will be back at the elimination ceremony. You guys completely nailed this performance of Misery Business, and Taylor, you sounded so much like Haley Williams. Thanks. And Olivia Rodrigo's song does sound a little alike to Misery Business. Yup. Still love her music though. So I obviously am gonna get voted off tonight for reading my dumbass brother's diary. I bet he's crying like a little bitch right now. It's okay, she's just a fucking heartless little bitch. Whatever. Also, I'm most likely gonna have to tell Hazel that the phone call was fake news. If I don't she'll keep crying. I also rigged the votes by making fake ballots of Dawn, so that way I won't get booted off, but Dawn will instead. Wait, really? Yeah, there's this bitch that tracks down people that take D in a tests, and then tell them that they are adopted through the phone. So that must mean that my parents are my biological parents. Yes, of course. Thank goodness. Welcome, Team Purple Ice, to the elimination ceremony. If I don't call your name, then you're most likely to be out of the game. First one save tonight is, Chloe, leading to, Mark, and then, Brian, and coming up with, Hazel. And the last one save tonight is, Karen, which makes Dawn the second person to be eliminated. Good, fucking, riddance. So all you have to do is just to swim all the way to that island over there. You might enjoy it, there's a resort and a sex addict over there. Okay, well, I'll just pray that my book doesn't get all wet. Oh, I sure hope it does. We now got two down, and twelve left to go, who will leave next? We will find out on the next episode of Total Drama Million Dollar Combat.